So as if this video tracks us, release their model 9080X, uh, currently for $120. Uh, this is their heavy duty upgrades for uh, their Haas 4x4 slash 4x4 and Rustler 4x4. Now, long ago, I made a video about the Rustler 4x4 and Haas 4x4. They're the same vehicle. The only difference is this is the high CG, high center of gravity. This is the LCG, low center of gravity. The slash 4x4, okay, that's pretty much the same vehicle as well, except for short course tires and you have a longer tub, longer center drive line. Uh, but they're all essentially the same vehicle. Parts are interchangeable uh, between them. Uh, now, not between high CG and LCG when you talk about the tub, but as far as suspension, differential arms, things like that, they are interchangeable. Now, is this kit worth it? Not really. Uh, I'm going to give you some other options if, uh, later in the video. But keep in mind that the shock towers, not really. RPM has been making those for a long time. And the stock ones are fine. If you want to upgrade, uh, because maybe you take some hard landings on the roof, RPM has had them for a long time. They're about $11. Uh, so if we go in here, see these are all the RPM parts. Uh, we have the little knuckles here too. But here we go, shock towers, $11, $11. They have had these for a long time. Now, these, RPM has had those for a long time. To be honest, who cares about these? Half the time, one is probably going to get the pro lines with the little nuts in the top to hold the body down instead of using the body clips. That's the reality. Why? Because the little holes are too small for larger, more robust body clips, for example, what the Creighton has. Uh, I'm thinking five scale right now. But if they made these bigger to fit a bigger body clip with a larger washer, if you've seen a five scale Creighton, that type of body mounting system, those are very robust body, uh, body clips. If not, the Proline uh, screw on tops, those are probably the ones one would go with. Now, out of this kit, what is worth it? Just the front knuckles and the rear knuckles. That's pretty much it, right? But long ago, I used to have a platinum. That came with the aluminum front knuckles, and the ultimate did as well. I, you know, actually, I missed the platinum. I think that was probably the best thing Traxxas had ever released uh, at that time when it came to Slash or any vehicle similar to this. Uh, so platinum, uh, it just it didn't have a painted body. Uh, so it was a clear body and then didn't have a transmitter, which was fabulous. Uh, it just came with motor ESC servo, which is all you need. Why? Because you're probably going to throw the servo away anyway. But moving on to this, really, that's it. So these parts here, these are the only ones worth getting. Now, bearings, uh, you can get some pretty good deals on Fast Eddy. So Fast Eddy bearings are very good. These, you're probably just replacing them because you probably bent the old ones, but these are going to bend again. These shafts, these are horrible shafts. Uh, well, all right, they're durable. They're durable. So what Traxxas does with these, and I've used uh, on the two-wheel drives. Uh, I've actually, I think I installed some four-wheel drives. Uh, it's just more material, so it's more plastic. So these are just thicker. That's what makes them stronger. Now, these are probably their winter plastics as well, which uh, I'm going to be honest, the Traxxas winter arms or the heavy-duty, those are very nice arms. I do like those, but they're not included in here. That's the problem. Those should have been in this kit. And Traxxas makes far better drive shafts. Far better drive shafts. They're heavy duty uh, metal drive shafts. Uh, they're thinner, so less inertia. And uh, they do have a metal spline that goes into the other one. And I've installed these. I don't remember the video. I have to check. But I installed these before. Loved them. I actually still have a pair uh, lying about. Uh, about a second one just in case. Never needed it. So it's just there. I'll probably just install in one of my nephews. Uh, so we'll see. So these, not really. Who cares? Uh, this is really it. Uh, these knuckles right here, unless you get a set of the aluminum ones, which you can probably get online for about $60. They used to be about $60 for the aluminum. But plastic ones, you can get the plastic ones. And like I said, RPM has been making this stuff for years. The only thing is, Traxxas is offering everything in a package, but... 
giving you some cheap stuff as well. Uh, that's my opinion. And of course, they're selling you on the colors. That's you know the cool thing. Ooh, I want orange. Then I can see the vehicle. Green? Mm, yeah, green. Okay, that's another option. Maybe orange or green. I'm not so sure about the red. Uh, mainly because sometimes it does look really red, and then sometimes it doesn't quite look red. It looks a little off. But uh, here are some other options that have been around for a very long time. So RPM. Now we have the RPM knuckles here. Now I'm calling them knuckles, but it's the casters and the spindle block set. Uh, now the rear, you're not going to beat those rear hubs that Traxxas offers from RPM. That's just my opinion. But if you've never shopped RPM because you're new and you didn't know about them, <clears throat> now you know. That's one of the, one of the things I would rec uh, recommend you look into. I'm not necessarily saying I recommend you buy this. I'm saying look into it, compare, shop about, uh, compare prices, what you need. Uh, some of the stuff is worthless. Bumpers, I probably wouldn't get those. These, Nerf, I wouldn't get those either. Uh, but this is what I would really recommend. <clears throat> Stop with the cheap stuff. Go with somebody that makes actual competition RCs. Techno RC. Now, if you've seen some of my very early videos, you would know that I'm, I am a techno fan. I'm a big techno fan. I love it. I love their short course. Two vehicles that I highly recommend are these two down here. SCT 410.3 and the MT 410. Now, MT 410, you can watch my build videos. I do have build videos for uh, an M, uh, M, sorry, MT that I built, and they are such beautiful kits. If you want to bash, really, this is the way to go. And sometimes they do allow discount codes on them. Uh, they are pretty pricey now. They went up. This used to be about 370 I believe it's about 320 now. I could be wrong. Uh, I guess we could click more info and see what the price is. Uh, this one used to be about 4 Yeah, they're about 430 now. Uh, but if you shop places, a main tire hobbies, things like that, sometimes they have discount codes. This one up about $50 too. Uh, I kind of wish I'd purchased a bunch of those kits beforehand just because I love them. Then I could have just had spare parts. Things will wear out after a while. Uh, but if you go to parts by vehicle, by part category, oh, wait, what? Four Traxxas vehicles? Wouldn't you know? Slash four by four. And remember, uh, everything that fits the slash four by four, except for what's in the center, is going to fit the Haas and it's going to fit uh, the Rustler. Uh, hmm. you know, I would have to measure the stampede. I'm not sure if the shaft is the same length as the rustler. Uh, but if we go slash four by four, because that's really what we're interested in right here, this is going to be your best kit. Uh, these are your drive shafts for the front for a four wheel drive. So it's going to fit your slash stampede rustler Haas, right? They all use the same drivetrain. Right, even the Stampede. Oh, and by the way, Stampede is such a fun little uh, Traxxas vehicles. But get the kit. That's that's what I would recommend. Build it yourself. Get the kit. And you can get some of these parts. But here you get the these. Uh, I believe it's spring steel. I could be wrong. But these are much lighter. And even if they were the same weight, because they're thinner. So if if you're familiar with uh, moment of inertia and just rotating inertia. The farther out the mass is from the fulcrum, so fulcrum's that point of rotation. So the farther out it is, the more inertia. So it's going to be harder to accelerate, harder to stop. That's the reason why cars, whenever you go from a small wheel to a large wheel, it starts accelerating slower and it takes longer to brake. It's the same principle. So this is a complete kit to do the upgrade. And it's very, very simple. And the bearings are good quality bearing. Long story short, if, you're, if it's techno, you're getting quality. Uh, and it's very straightforward to assemble these. Yes, it's a little pricey, but you're paying for quality. Uh, front and rear replacements, if you ever bend them or break them. But anyway, uh, here are the rears. Again, much better stuff. Uh, keep in mind, this is the type of stuff 
you would use in competition. I mean, these vehicles take abuse. Uh, that's about the same price though. So you've just hit the the same price price point. Uh, and you also get the center drive shafts. Now again, this is uh, slash four wheel drive only. So this is the kit that you would need. Uh, this uh, big bone center, this doesn't bend as easily as the stock uh, ones, if you've ever bent them. Then again, you should be running, if you're bashing that hard, you should be running a chassis brace. But the issue with the slash four by four is sometimes the chassis will actually break uh, well, I can't really show you a picture here, but uh, it'll break right around there. Uh, so that's that's kind of the weak point of the slash 4x4. But you can get these parts from Techno, and then you can just complement with the RPM shock towers if you want. Uh, front knuckles never really had a problem. But like I said, I, I always ran the aluminums because that's what the platinum came with. So I would just steer you in that direction. But don't get aluminum arms. That's just a big mistake. You're going to bend them on the first run out. Uh, but let's go back to parts. Uh, four Traxxas vehicles. Now let's go Stampede. So they have a center uh, dog bone for the Stampede. Again, I'm not, I don't remember if it, this fits the Haas or not. It may or may not. I think the Haas may actually be a little longer. So you may be out of luck on this one. Something that you can do is if these are long enough, you can put some little O-rings uh, just to keep the shaft centered, just in case it's a little too short. But uh, I, I wouldn't risk it. Uh, it's up to you. But if you do have a stampede, since all those other parts will fit your stampede, I would consider this. And uh, even though you don't have the shaft options here, just remember the uh, four-wheel drive slash, those parts will actually fit. Uh, so you have these right over here. So you have to shop both sections. But this is something to consider. So is this kit worth it for 120? If you're brand, brand new and you didn't know of any other options, I can see what you would spend this money on this kit. But again, the only thing worth buying in this kit are these, these rear knuckles. These, this is really it. And the front ones. I'll give you the front. I, I'm not giving you giving you the front ones I'm it's a it's a way of saying it's like I'll grant the fact that the front ones are probably better let's clarify let's clarify uh, so out of this kit it's only these six parts really that are worth it so $120 for these parts I would not do it uh, if they ever release these individually which I believe they did but I could be wrong uh, just buy them individually and then RPM Techno, do that. Uh, now, keep in mind that these, if you take a really hard hit, sometimes what can happen is if it's hard enough, this will flex or tear out and you may bend those other metal shafts. And that's where these come in because they'll slide in. But at that point, you, you probably damage something else. And uh, just for fun, Uh, all right, I would just go with the techno. Here we go. Uh, these are the ones I'm talking about. So this design, I've used these a lot. These are way better than the plastic ones. I would just go for something like this. Uh, heavy duty steel, uh, CV drive shafts, my recommendation. And then uh, that kit doesn't include the arms. It should have included the arms. Uh, these arms are actually great. Uh, they're heavy duty plastics, winter plastic. I knew them as winter plastics, but I guess they, they're calling them heavy duty. Uh, but consider that. So look for the steel CVD, uh, CVDs, so steel CVDs instead. And then uh, look for the aluminum front uh, caster blocks. Or uh, keep the plastic. Just I've never had the plastics. I was I was had the aluminum, so I have no idea how the plastics hold up, to be honest. But there's many options. Uh, and then consider techno. Well, I'm not discarding the fact that many of you may get this just to keep it all traxes, but just keep in mind it's a 
capitalist society, thank God, it's your money. Spend it however you want. You should be saving up first. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was inform informative or at least entertaining. Uh, please subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,